Okay, so I talk about this a little bit in the text in this video. Here's day four. We're about to get started. I am coming here and giving an intro because I lost all of day four minus four and a half minutes, which is just one conversation of me chatting with you in the car. But um, I did way more than that. I had uh, awesome time lapses. I had conversations of me sitting in the right side of the car, the passenger seat, chatting with you. Can't remember what they are, but it's okay. That's what happens with media. That's what happens whenever you decide to get a really small phone and you think that you can handle it and you have an external hard drive and you transfer everything to the external hard drive and then you, um, it's cumbersome to use the external hard drive because you still have to transfer everything to the external hard drive, but you didn't want to pay the extra money per month to have your iCloud. So you ended up getting the external hard drive plus the um, upgraded iCloud anyways, because it's just a lot easier to have the iCloud. So day four is going to be short. I'm going to finish editing it at right now. Um, I think I'm pushing it together with day five or it's just going to be a real short one and I'll post day five tomorrow. I'm sorry that I didn't get anything out yesterday, but after realizing that I lost everything, I went on a different fixation for the day because I was frustrated. And there you have it. Also, I found out that the Aspen Wood came. So today is October 15th. It was supposed to come the 18th and it actually came on the 13th while I was dog sitting. So I'm going to be able to start doing that tomorrow and have a slew of more production videos. Okay, so I have a grub hub in a couple days. Whenever I was turning my car back on, the dash wouldn't turn on, but the dash is on now. So, but it's showing the wrong fuel gauge, so that's disappointing because I have a full tank of gas and it's only showing one little bar. Um, so we'll see what's up with that. I need to get it into my mechanic and in for an oil change and a tune-up anyway. So he will take a look at it then. I have finished the Reflectix on the right side and I need another roll. They had that massive roll, but they didn't have it at the first place I went to, so I didn't know it existed for me to get that massive roll first because I could have done it in one-ish piece. But either way, it's, you know, taped and sealed together. One piece would have been nice. And then I probably would have had to get three rolls of it, but I'm gonna get a third roll, and I got two rolls of this anti-fatigue water-resistant mat that I'm gonna use as um, the next layer of insulation. And hopefully that's enough to be able to mold it with the sheet vinyl. Uh, I'm gonna try and make it as flat as possible. I got this blonde wood tone sheet vinyl um, so that it'll lighten up and brighten everything up in here, especially since like, yeah, all this is like a tannish gray, but all of the front dash is really dark and I'm gonna get like a bright colored um, car cover, seat cover, so that the cats can lay on my seat and it's a little bit less messy. I really don't wanna reinstall the center console, so I'm gonna try and find a workaround because the center console has my auxiliary cable. You know, like, so at that point, hopefully it'll just go from the 
parts and I won't ever have to put it back together and I can sell off all those pieces. We'll see. They're all stowed away. But if I get that off, that gives me like another this deep there. And then I don't have that seat belt to worry about. The one on this side has the hybrid vent, the hybrid battery vent. So that's super important to keep open. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that. But if I do anything, I'll just be putting a vent over top of like the hybrid battery vent so that it still is open and free. But the ledge, it's hard because the, the ledge for the cargo area back there rests on the carpet. Like the carpet itself is molded and hard enough that creates a ledge for the other stuff to sit on along with the buckets that are in there. The, there's only a bucket on the one side, the other side has the battery. So I'm just trying to think and configure in my mind like how it's gonna work. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just have like like half a platform because like I'm gonna be laying and sleeping on this side and why do I have to have the platform cover the whole way like I want floor space you know I want to utilize as much floor space as possible um I think that's my idea and like have some kitty boxes ah shoot Okay, so my car is now a space mobile and I may have had a moment of weakness where I got frustrated and didn't keep looking for a solution and just tore it off because I was like, I'm not gonna be reselling it, but I'm super disappointed in myself because I later found out that it was literally just one bolt hidden, hiding from me. So anyways, I've taken this panel off and I've taken this panel off and I've started insulating this side because look at all this extra space I've gotten. And I'll like seal it off here. And you've got all this side's kitten space. It's all about the kittens. It's all about kitten space. So space for the cats. And um, I'm gonna make a box over my hybrid battery and I'll insulate the walls of the box, um, the inside walls of the box, but I'm not gonna do anything with the hybrid battery right now. I'm just working on insulating, 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 and thinking about how it's all gonna mold with walls and then I just have to find some sort of wall. Because when I pulled back the carpet, it was just empty space. It was just empty space. It was just empty space. There wasn't even padding behind the carpet. It was just sealing off space to make the walls flat. Um, and I'm gonna take the seat belt, the seats off, seat belts off of both the back seats. And this is the hybrid vent. Let me turn you around. Okay, so here's a backlight that I have. I will seal all this off and that gives me all of this space. I've got this space down here still for either my tire or kitten area. I will put a box over this um, and I think I'll put this on the inside of the box just so it doesn't rattle around and I'll seal the box to the car with these bolts and I'm gonna use one of those contour um, rollers so that I can get a real close seal here and encapsulate all this in the box because all this is very important hybrid filter stuff. And then my 12 volt battery is over here. So this will basically all just be sealed off with like a little access point because uh, everything should still be accessible afterwards. Like all of these will be enclosed within a flap and not actually like, won't be glued on top of. So that's where we're at today. This is the side that I broke. It's very frustrating. So I just ripped it off. Just ripped it off with cutting shears.
My mom had three different kinds, and then after I got it off, I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I was looking everywhere. I looked on the back, I looked on the side, everywhere, but except inside the tube where the bolt was hiding. So, like, I knew it couldn't have been that hard because it had to be put together. But I thought it was just super reinforced because the seatbelt was there, and it's funny, you know, the tricks that your mind can play on you to make you rationalize something and no it was the easiest was the way that's usually the way not the hardest so I took the hard way it cost me that piece so either if I resell it it'll either I'll have to replace that piece or I'll just I don't know. We'll have to see what it inhibits. I think it inhibits a little bit of the seatbelt function, so we'll have to see. Maybe it'll just be a four-seater instead of a five. And I have not started on this yet. I haven't started on this yet because I want to finish this fully, but I've let it open up so it can kind of warm and mold. And I'm still just cleaning and once I get all the insulation done and get most of this in, then I'll spend a day like taking the seat out and putting the flooring in the same day. It's gonna be exciting. Gutted Prius. Gutted. And I'm gonna put a seat cover on that because like I really hate this gray. Like I'm done with this gray. Brighten it up. Make it homey. Can't wait to show you the vinyl floor I picked. Alright. Stuff that I had learned on day four. That you need context for because the videos are missing. I realized that to lay the reflectix and it not be a conductor. It cannot just lay metal reflectix material, you know, flooring, whatever, whatever you have at wall. It has to have an air gap. So to create an air back gap, I bought that aspen wood. It's going to sit on top of the reflectix because it's already done. That's already done. The reflectix is done. It's glued down. Problem was made before I did more research and realized uh, you can't do that. And I'm going to have pets on the floor. I'm going to have the rabbit that's going to be on the floor level. Like I do not need to be conducting heat instead of keeping the heat out. So you have to have a layer of reflectix, a air gap, or some sort of space. So that aspen wood is very porous. The closest thing I can compare it to is like a soap saver one of those little soap saver pads that's real meshy um, and helps save the soap bar, but everything can kind of soak up into that little pad. That's kind of what it looks like. So I'm gonna put that down. Um, if it doesn't get wet, it should stay pretty thick. And um, if it does get wet, then it compresses. What they use it for is for a cool, um, it can be used as a cooling pad inside of coolers. You can get it wet and it'll keep things cool or keep things hot. Um, so that was my mindset when I was doing research about trying to figure out what I should be using. Um, that's why I haven't put the floor on yet. See you soon with a better video. Bye.